Hi everyone, welcome back to the TechSuper channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to convert a JSON payload into a string. So I got a requirement wherein we have a third party application and the third party application has provided one REST API and that REST API takes the JSON as a string. So if we have such kind of requirement, then in that case, we have to convert the complete JSON as a string and map that JSON string to the target service. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to convert that JSON as a string. So before we start guys, I will uh, give you one useful information. I have published one visual builder book, which allows you to learn Visual Builder with a lot of real-time examples. If you want to go in depth of Visual Builder, this is the correct book which you can buy and you can start learning. This book will take you to the basic concepts, the basic building block, and will take you to the depth with a lot of examples. If you will, if you are, if you want to buy this book, you can simply go to this link https colon slash slash back dot live slash three mwsnrc and it will take you to the amazing site from where you can buy it okay so let's take an example if you have the source json format json in this particular format first name last name it can be a different and you want to convert that json as a complete string and then map that json string to the target application like this. So maybe you have one target REST API wherein it takes only one key as a data and then complete JSON as a string. So how to achieve the same into the integration cloud I'm going to show you. So let me just log in to the integration uh, cloud wherein I will show you this example. So for this, let me simply go ahead and then create a app driven based orchestration here let's say convert json to string okay so i am going to create a simple rest api here let's say conversion json to string Next and here convert and I'm going to send a I'm sorry it will be a post API and I'm going to consider configure a request payload for this endpoint and in this demonstration what I'm going to do I'm I will take the JSON payload and will convert that JSON payload into the string and will send the response back. So instead of sending the response, instead of sending the response back, you can map that JSON string to the target application. So here I am going to use that JSON sample here and let me simply take first name. So this is the sample payload. And then here in the response, I am again going to take a JSON sample. And then here I will say data and only single output, single response. Okay, and click on a neck and then done button. So what will happen? The JSON payload will come as part of this request. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to use the stage file action. So using that stage file action, I will write the complete JSON to the staging area as it is. Okay, so use that stage file. And here I'll say write to stage. Okay, next. And here I will say write file and then specify the file name. I can say, welcome, sample.json. So I'm going to write the complete JSON as it is, and it can get time directory. 
select it. Next. And here I am going to choose sample JSON document. Click on the next. And here I am going to specify my JSON file. So let me just take it out. So I have selected a sample JSON file. It is it 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 has two element like first name last name is same like I have given uh, in the request of the rest. So it's very simple. And then that, right. So I am simply writing the JSON in at stage. So expand it. And then the request just simply map the first name to the first name to first name and last name to last name. Right? The complete JSON will be written to the stage. Now, what I need to do, I need to use the stage file again stage file action again and I will read the complete file. Read file, click next and here I will say read entire file and I will configure the file reference and here response this file dot mod and then this is my file reference. Okay. That's it. Next. Now here what I am going to do, I am going to choose the XML schema document and here I will select the opaque file. So I will read using the opaque. Click next. And right. Now this action will read the file using the opaque schema and here what I am going to do, I am going to map the response the read file response and here first i have to decode the data record base 64 okay record base 64 function because this will read the data into the encoded format i have to decode it and then use that opaque element okay fine refresh or if you don't want to send this response, what you can do, you can map this opaque element by converting into a decode base 64. You can map to your target application also. But since I don't have it as of now, target application, so I'm just mapping in the response. Fine. Let's enable the tracking here. Let's save first name. Let's save and save and then close it. Let's try to test it. Let me just activate the application here. Right, application has been activated. Now it's time to test the application. Right, go to body and here let's say uncle, let's say 10. So test. So here you can see the data, the complete JSON has been converted into a single string. Now you can send this string to your target application. So this is all about converting the JSON to a string. Guys, that's all about this video. If you have any question, please keep commenting in the videos and you can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook page. You can see my blog https colon slash dash www.taxsupper.com and if you like the video please like comment share and please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates thank you bye bye